Sky TV and uh, we are still having uh, this particular conversation that is very very important very interesting very robust for you uh, is a Christian supposed to respond to challenges and maybe in one way or another you have encountered some challenges in your life how did you respond to them what did you make of that particular challenge what has it made you to become today these are some of the things that we are having on this particular discussion on set Reverend David Mwangi and also Reverend Joseph Janga, uh, able and anointed man of God, helping us to go through this particular discussion. And of course, with your input also, very much welcomed on our social media page. That is MBCI TV for Facebook. Our shortcut platform is 23814. Feel very free to bring us your contribution and your feelings on this particular discussion. And of course, we'd be glad to also see uh, your reflections on the same. Uh, Reverend Jenga, I, I know we, we've pointed quite a number of things uh, before the break. Now, for somebody, therefore, who wants now to know, what, what kind of a package should a Christian have uh, for them to be able to maneuver through a particular challenge? A package? Yes. Uh, if I got you right, I would say that what a Christian need mm. to navigate through challenges is... Uh, uh, sufficient knowledge sufficient knowledge on how so I, I think we as the clergy we need to educate people uh, and when we educate people we we'll make them aware okay. because w when you look at the scriptures you discover that challenges they should be anticipated mm. but sometimes our prophetic nature that does not allow us to be sober in, in some matters and so we, we behave somehow with some percentage of insanity mm -hmm. but but when if we are, are sober enough like Christ mm -hmm. who is our role model mm -hmm. you see he said he predicted that they will come okay. I, I'm reminded of the word of Peter Peter said in first Peter 4 12 beloved do not be surprised right when you encounter fiery trials okay. So it appears the apostles, the reason they were able to go through challenges mm -hmm. and they surmounted, they overcame, mm -hmm. is because they were aware this thing can come. Okay. And you see, even the challenges they encountered, uh, they are different from the challenges we are encountering because most of us, we don't have situations that are life-threatening. Right. Yeah, it's about food and mm, clothes shelter. and shelter. Mm. <laughs> but the apostles, the challenges were serious. They threaten their precious lives. Mm. But the knowledge they had is that even that one yes. can work together for their good. Okay. And so they endured. Mm. So we need to educate our people yes. so that they may expect. Because we are losing marriages. We are losing members. Yes. They are thinking that this church is not powerful mm. than Pastor Mwangi's church. Mm. So we are having a lot of uh, tourists because they are looking for power mm. to sustain them or, or to, to maybe to annihilate a challenge which is not practical mm -hmm. yeah it's not practical yes mm. uh you've expanded very well Re Re reverend Mwangi. uh even as you pick up from where reverend jenga has said because that is where the bone of contention is and maybe that is the missing link mm -hmm. as to how maybe some of our christians uh, respond to some of these challenges and maybe they get it wrong yeah what is your dose okay them? I, I i believe it's lack of understanding when you understand, number one, that challenges will come, then you'll be prepared. Because this is a battle. This life, the life we live is a battle. And that's why the Bible says, we rest or not. Right. It's not that we pray not. We rest or not. Sure. Against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So this life is a wrestling ring. So you have to wrestle. So once you understand that challenges will come, then you need to know the arsenals that you need, mm -hmm. the weapons of warfare. Sure. And the Bible say, take the full armor. Mm -hmm. Full armor. Mm -hmm. It is starts from the head, all the way <laughs> to, the, to the shoes. <laughs> sure. It is written mm -hmm. in the word of God. Mm -hmm. If you take the armor of faith, most of the people, why they give up is because they don't have faith. Sure. You don't believe mm -hmm. things will be better. Yeah. There are others, they give up because they don't want to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. If you are told to wear that breastplate of truth, mm -hmm. people like lying. They just like lying. <laughs> they just like 
mm. being convenient mm. very convenient mm. uko wapi niko tu yani mm. you just want to be mm. very very convenient right. yeah. but the most important one of overcoming challenges is what is found in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 that says that you shall hear a voice behind you okay. mm-hmm. say this is the way mm-hmm. Whether you turn to the left or to the right, mm. you will go in that voice. Mm. Most of the people don't, don't have a voice they listen to. They, listen they just to wake up okay. and they go. They are blind. They're just mm. blind out there. So they will keep on complaining. Why? There is no voice that you are hearing. Mm. And those who are privileged on the opposite, mm-hmm. they hear the voice of the devil. There are some people who don't hear God and they don't hear the devil. They're just there. They just exist. Mm. They exist. <laughs> so their life is just like an object mm. there. But when you know that the Spirit of God will speak to you, you will know. You know, people normally call it Zamiri. Zamiri. Mm. 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 No, no, that conscience, yeah. Mm. Mm. Conscience, you know. Imagine mm. Zamiri. Mm. It's not Zamiri. <laughs> it, it, it is God was speaking mm. to you mm. and telling you, please, don't take that. Sure. Sure. Because the Bible says, there is a way that seems okay in the, mm. in the eyes of men. Okay. Mm but the end of it is destruction. Mm. Many people follow that way Mm -hmm. that looks okay, but eventually they cry, they cry. Mm. Even making money, because I'm in the the marketplace. I've seen people who do shortcuts, Mm -hmm. especially in this country, Mm -hmm. which is, I describe it as a country of deals. Mm-hmm. You only need you only need one deal mm-hmm. or market, just one, <laughs> one deal. So you organize it to deal more. Uh, so those people who believe in deals, yes, they get wealth. No, in fact, they don't get wealth. Mm. They get riches, mm. and those riches are added. What do we call them? Mm. It's, mm. Called, it's called uh, wings. <laughs> no, no, they no, no, there's this wealth. There are riches that have no sorrow. Oh, sorrow. So you get you get riches. Mm-hmm. And Equal package of sorrows. Uh-huh. 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 Equal package. <laughs> so that's why you see people, mm. you will see them with big things, eh? mm. but they are, they are not at peace at all. Mm. Because they did not take the full armor mm. of God. Mm. Wow. They did not take the spirit of God mm. as they are guiding. The yeah. Bible says, I will go before you mm. and I will make every crooked way straight. When I was driving here, I knew I would just arrive here. Whether I'm lost, I will still call. Sure, sure. Because yeah. the, the God had gone before me mm. and made every cook away straight. Sure. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. That is quite weighty and heavy. Mm. Uh, and Mwangi, we appreciate so much for that. And of course, uh, you, you've actually expounded on the, on, on the arsenal. Uh, uh, the, 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 the whole armor mm. as uh, outlined in the book of Ephesians. Yes. Now, w- w- when you listen to this, uh, Reverend Jenga, yes. and uh, maybe one would want to find out, when you're looking at responding to challenges, mm. uh, especially for a Christian, is the spiritual arsenal sufficient? Or are there other physical arsenal? In our, in our spiritual combat, uh, there, there's nothing physical. Uh, it is spiritual. And so what Paul outlined in Ephesians, Mm. it's a summary of everything we need so that we may be able to win spiritual battles because our battles are spiritual. So what we just see in the physical is the manifestation of either conquest or defeat Mm. that has already happened in the spirit. Mm. But what we see in the physical is manifestation or uh, outcome, outcome of what has already been uh, uh, been been accomplished in the spirit. Mm-hmm. So this asana, they are sufficient for us to live a victorious life in Christ. Mm-hmm. So if we can only uh, maximize them, as mm-hmm. Pastor is saying, sometimes we use one we neglect another. Mm-hmm. So we must be able to take advantage of all of them. Mm-hmm. In fact, Paul is saying it is after that you are able to stand. It's true. No, failure mm-hmm. to that, mm-hmm. you are You're still far. sitting. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. <laughs> failure to that, you are still sitting. <laughs> now, th- there is something that Reverend uh, Mwangi, mm-hmm. we normally call a comeback. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody is listening to us tonight. Yes. They've come through challenges. These challenges overcame them. Maybe mm. they've been there for a very long time, five years, ten years. Mm. Is still there some hope for them? Yeah. Very big hope because I am, I am a believer that faith graduates into hope. And that's why Abraham 
was the father of faith. But when he, when he was finishing, it graduated from faith to hope. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says, against all hope, Abraham hoped. hoped. Right. There's a level that faith will grow and mature. It becomes hope. So I want to address that person you are talking about who has gone through challenges in life, many years mm -hmm. of setbacks and failures. And I want to tell them there is hope. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible Amen. says there is hope for even a tree mm -hmm. that has been cut. Mm -hmm. Just by the scent, not even the touch, mm -hmm. the scent of water. water. That tree mm -hmm. will spring back sure, sure. to mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether you're not even just being pruned. Even if you have been cut mm -hmm. and your roots are still on the ground. Mm -hmm. That means if you're still breathing, there is hope for you. Okay. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 49, mm -hmm. I like combining these two scriptures. If you look at Lamentation chapter 5 verse 7, the Bible says our fathers have sinned and they are no more. Mm -hmm. We now suffer the iniquities they deserve. Mm -hmm. So some of the challenges we face is not because of our sins. It's because of the sins of the fathers. It is written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But Isaiah came and gave us a wonderful scripture in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 and 25. Mm -hmm. And he said, can a captive be rescued mm -hmm. from the hands of a captor? Mm -hmm. Or a slave be rescued from the hands of the slave master? Mm -hmm. Right free. Mm -hmm. You right free. Yani kabisa dhambi umefanya dunia muzima. You are towards now that breaking point. Mm -hmm. And the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 49, verse 25 says, Yes, even the captives of the, of the mightiest right. will be rescued. Sure. I will rescue you mm. and save your children. Mm. So I still believe, because I am a man of hope, that there is no case that is mm. written off. Mm. Wow. He got the accident. written off. There is no case mm. that is written off. Look at the story of Mephibosheth. Mm -hmm. I love that story. Mm -hmm. His grandfather was king, King Saul. Yes. His father was Jonathan, mm. who was supposed to take after his father. Sure. He was that third in line. Mm. One day, in mm. one day, mm. King Saul mm. and Jonathan died right. in the battle. Mm. Him, who was supposed to be now the, the, the grandson the, to take over, the, yes. the, 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 the maid or the nanny took him mm. and they fell. Right. He dislocated his backbone mm -hmm. at, at young age. Crippled. Crippled. Mm. So they rushed to a place called Rodiba. Mm -hmm. He was in Rodiba for. I was doing my calculation mm. close to because he, has, he had children by that time. Yes. B maybe around 30 years. Mm -hmm. He was in Rodiba. Mm. Cripple. Mm -hmm. you, you are cripple. Mm -hmm. You are poor. You are in the village. You're not even sound. <laughs> Rodiba is a far, far village. Yeah, no communication. And one day, mm. one day, because there is no, there is no closed case, mm. David said, he was just walking in the, in the mm -hmm. palace, mm -hmm. and he said, is there anyone left in, left mm -hmm. in the household of Saul mm -hmm. That I can show kindness wow. for mm -hmm. Jonathan's sake. Sick. Amazing. And one guy there mm -hmm. called Ziba. Yes. He was there <laughs> purposely for that day. Right. God can keep someone in, a, in an office for 10 years mm. just to remember you. Mm. Wow. He said, I know one man. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, he's a cripple. Yeah. And he's in the village. Dodiba. He said, mm. Go and bring him. Mm. Wow. When he came, mm. you know, the cripple, he was moving. Mm. Mm. He looked at David. In fact, David mm. called him. Mm. So he asked him, Mephibosheth. Mm. He said, yes, my Lord. He said, from today, you'll be eating in my, on my table. Mm. He said, what do you have? This, this now, Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth, what do you have to do with me? A, a dead, dead dog. dog like me. A mm. dead, mm. not even a live dog. Mm. A de <laughs> if a dead dog, Mephibosheth, can sit with king. Wow. What is the wow. situation? Nothing. Which situation are you talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> Which situation are you yeah, talking you. about? Mm. In a few seconds, Reverend yes. Jenga. Mm. Yeah, he's put it very well, Reverend Mwangi. Mm. And somebody might, you might be watching us mm. and they feel they are extremely stigmatized yes. because of how they felt, because of a challenge that they came upon them. Yeah. What do you have to say to them? No, I just need to summarize. Uh, uh, Pastor Mwangi have just said that we have hope. Mm -hmm. And I need to bring it the way Paul is putting it in Hebrew, mm -hmm. that this hope we have as an anchor of soul. Mm -hmm. It is both sure and steadfast. Mm -hmm. Now that word anchor is very important to note. The Bible says we have this hope as an anchor. Yeah. Anchor may be in our setting here in some of the cities, we may not be able to really understand what it is. 
but people who live around Mombasa and coasts where great ships come and they, they stop there, they understand what it means. The anchor is designed to, to hold the ship. It doesn't matter how great, how big mm. the ship can be. And if that ship is anchored, anchored somewhere, mm. the, 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 the one manning that thing can go as far as he wants, mm. as long as it is there. Waves will come because it is still sitting on the water. It can shake, but it cannot move. Mm -hmm. The hope that we have in Christ, it can appear shaky, but it cannot move. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it is both sure and steadfast. So that means that God has vowed that he will come in for us. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what you may be going through. It doesn't matter the situation. Somebody said that man's extremity mm. becomes God's opportunity. Right. It doesn't matter mm. how things <laughs> appear true. to be. That's wow. True. Yeah. What a superb point to bring it to a close for tonight. Gentlemen, servants of God, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Very, very great insights there. Very great inspiration. And I believe that someone maybe might have been challenged, might have succumbed maybe to a particular challenge. But after watching this particular program, they see the need to rise again. Mm, Reverend David Mwangi, it's been a pleasure. Thank you and God bless you. Man. Reverend Praise Joseph Jenga, a Santa Sana for your time tonight. Amen. That's Amen. why we bring it to a close. We also want to appreciate you for your time to be with us, interacting with us and giving us your contribution. We'll do it again next week. My name is Mwangi Chomola on behalf of the entire team that has made this a success. Have a blessed evening. Nuggets of Wisdom with Apostle Dan Gishimo. The security of a man or a woman who trusts in the Lord does not depend on the surrounding circumstances or where he or she is, but on the Lord God. It is therefore prudent to have faith in God. Mark 11, verse 22.